one of the important things is if you zeroed at 100 and zeroed the laser well, after you've done that at 100 you need to dial the elevation back to zero to maintain that parallel zero through the laser if you leave elevation dialed on here what the scope's looking at and what the laser are pointing at are two different things so that's a consideration either dial everything and be conscious of where you are or hold everything and that's generally the easier way to do it but your sub tensions and wind holds can get a bit janky if it's windy so we have a target at the back it's an IPSC it's tall it's not very wide 3.9 I'm going to hold this done we've got a small square at the back there 222 6.7 uh, wind's now slightly from right to left now it's full value right to left there's a target at the edge of the dam here a diamond that's in the water now actually had a lot of a lot of rain uh, 2.2 Di uh, lazing a target and then holding over is by far quicker and it's a lot less mental load to find a target or check zero laze dial shoot Dial, laze, dial, shoot, dial. It's um, it's a lot more work to kind of keep bouncing around. The good thing about the tremor is that keep it on zero. All the sub tensions, time of flight dots are still good, and then you can laze, hold over, bang, laze, hold over, bang, and just go from there. That's um, my preferred method and the way to do it. You can actually manually go into the app on your phone, update the environmentals, wind speed, wind direction, humidity, temperature, uh, temperature, and all the other bits and pieces, and that'll update this. But because we're just doing, you know full 180 shooting here you just got to be mindful that wind direction and wind speed and aj and stuff might actually start to play games with you so i'd rather manually do that and um and and not have a wind solution in in there for a 4 2.2 slight wind from the right so we'll just favor right 